they can rig these markets all they want, but the one thing that they cannot rig is the debt. Hey guys, welcome. And um, we're almost in 2019, so I'm going to wish everybody a happy new year. We're just a few hours away. Um, and as we enter 2019, we're gonna be entering another year with more debt as we're approaching $22 trillion in US debt. Um, we are acquiring right now, and we will acquire in the next few hours into 2019, $44,000 a second of debt right here in the United States of America entering 2019. There's a couple outlooks I have for 2019 and just a quick little list and we could probably make pages of things that we expect to happen, um, forecast to happen, um, believe will happen. One of the things in my outlook is I do not believe that we're going to see gold get to $800 an ounce or below. Uh, and I don't believe that we're gonna see $8 silver. Like so many people in 2018 kept preaching, telling us that Gold and silver were gonna go down. I think as of right now, those are the two strongest safe havens you can be into. The two most undervalued assets in the entire world are gold and silver. And in my opinion, I do not see gold going to $800. I do not see silver going to $8. In fact, I believe the prices are gonna to continue to rise. Um, a couple other outlooks I have for 2019, things that I think we can expect to happen is we're going to see extreme things happening in the United States of America. Market volatility, violence and division continuing in America. And I believe it's going to heat up. I believe that we're going to see pressure on the U.S. dollar. Another reason you should be getting into gold and silver right now. Gun rights are going to be attacked in 2019, in 2019 unlike any other year. We have new laws coming into California uh, in 2019. Um, and we're gonna see continued laws being passed um, in 2019 throughout the country. Uh, we're gonna see, uh, possibly we're gonna see some bubbles burst in 2019. Um, probably in the housing markets, um, as we're starting to see the numbers just rolling off the cliff here um, uh, in real estate. So uh, those are some of the things that I see, some of, some, some of my outlook. Also, I believe that we're gonna see terrorism uh, in the United States in 2019. So we'll see if any of this happens. I believe that most of it will happen, and this is why you need to be preparing with holding hard assets, gold and silver. You need to be putting food and water away, guns, ammo, um, medicine, um, and, and whatever other preps you believe you need, because I think that 2019 is gonna be the most extreme year we have seen in decades. And you really better be ready for the volatility that we're gonna see socially, politically, and economically. Some people can watch a video like that, like this, and they can go, man, that guy is crazy. I can't believe it. He's a fear monger. He's, he's into fear porn. He's scaring people. If you're doing these things, if you're preparing, you shouldn't be scared. You should be prepared. Um, I'm not really scared of extreme times coming to America. I've been preparing for them for a few years now. I've been awake uh, for a few years now. So um, the people that are going to be scared are the people who are taken by surprise. The people who hoped and believed it wasn't going to happen, the ones that are not prepared are going to be the ones that are going to live life in fear. They're going to be the casualties. People who are prepped, people who are preparing have really no reason to fear it. We're expecting it. So. This isn't about fear, this isn't about scaring people, but if your country going into a hard recession, um, if your country is going into very volatile times, extreme times, you should be a bit fearful for your family, for you, for yourself, that you're prepared for this. Uh, again, if, if you're prepared, you know, you're not gonna be as fearful as a person who isn't prepared. These are, these are the people who, who, are, who, who doubt, 
who um, just believe that the government's going to be there, that they, they're, they're not going to allow a recession or a Great Depression to happen in America, even though we're seeing things happening all over the world right now. We have bubbles all over the world. We have currencies um, devaluing all over the world. We have countries living in Great Depression states right now all over the world. Um, we've never seen the world as vulnerable as it is right now. And because you live in the United States of America and you believe everything is going to be okay because your government or your fake media um, told you so, you're living a dream. And you're going to be a very, very fearful person when things start happening out in the streets of America, when people um, aren't getting their EBT or their food stamps. You're going to be very fearful because you're going to see violence coming to America unlike you have ever seen in history. And the people who are unprepared to deal with it, the people who don't have food and water put away, they're going to be living in a life of fear. In fact, they're going to be living in a nightmare if they're not prepared. Remember, and I'm just giving you straight statistics, facts, history, nothing more, nothing less. But remember, nothing got fixed in 2008. Nothing. We put a band-aid on a gunshot wound and kicked the can down the street. That's all we did. We printed a hell of a lot of money. Um, we, we doubled the U.S. debt from right now at the end of 2018 back to 2008. We over doubled it. Um, we created more bubbles by doing so, which is just making people feel wealthy. They're feeling okay because we've got these artificial bubbles that we created with injecting tons of printed money into these markets um, by using quantitative easing and just uh, massaging these markets uh, back to life, although it was all artificially. If you took away all the quantitative easing and, and money printing, where do you think we would be today? These markets, this economy isn't what you think it is. It's been man-made, manipulated. It's been a giant illusion. And a lot of people living in these bubbles feel fine. They feel good that the, their, their housing values went up, that their 401k is growing, that their money markets are growing, that their stocks went up. But they don't talk about corporate buybacks. They don't talk about quantitative easing. They don't talk about the money printing. They don't talk about all these artificial steroid injections to a, to a dying patient. This is all going to change at some point because the market at some point is going to get a dose of reality. And when it does, the paper millionaires, the people who are dependent on their pensions, um, their 401ks, um, the government, they're in for a rude awakening, a nightmare. I'll tell you who I think benefits with where we're at today, with recessions and great depressions, with bubbles. And it's the people who create them. It's the central banks. They are the only ones that benefit because they gain more wealth, more power and, con and control over you, your family and your country. And that's another reason why I believe you need to be your own central bank, why you need to be purchasing in precious metals, why you need to be owning gold, why you need to be own, owning silver. Um, don't worry if gold goes up today or if it goes down or if silver goes up or it goes down. Buy these assets, the most undervalued assets in the entire world. You know the ones that people were making fun of you for buying a year ago, but they've been the only thing that have been positive this whole month. The only thing that's been going up, outperforming the stock market, their safety, okay? And they've been manipulated, beat down by all the paper manipulation, but that's all going to change at some point. And nobody knows when that's going to happen, but you need to be stockpiling precious metals. And it's silver at $15.50, whatever it was today. No excuse why you're not buying some of this. When you're buying precious metals, buy them put them away, forget about them. You know, a lot of people watch these markets and you know they see silver going up five or 10 cents here and there, two cents here, 25 cents there. Gold goes up $5, $8, $10. Those numbers don't really concern me. I don't care if it goes up, I don't care if it goes down. I'm buying precious metals because I'm concerned about an economic collapse, a dollar collapse right here in America. And you know, a, a, a dollar or eight or ten dollars in, in, in gold going up or down, does it's meaningless to me. A, a nickel, ten cents, twenty, fifty cents in silver up or down is meaningless to me. 
I'm buying metals because I'm betting against the U.S. dollar and I'm betting against the U.S. economy. I believe that we're going to see a crash. I believe the dollar is going to come up under extreme pressure. Um, we're seeing uh, people around the world, countries around the world, dumping it and looking for alternatives. And the dollar is going to come under pressure. And I'm betting against a dollar collapse, an economic collapse, either or. Then we're going to see silver at $500 plus an ounce. We're going to see gold at five, ten thousand 10,000 plus an ounce. That's when I'm going to be concerned about the numbers at that point. When I'm seeing $500 silver and I'm seeing five or $10,000 gold, that's why I'm buying it. That's why I'm stacking gold and silver. Not for, you know, a dollar or 10 cents or 50 cents or $8 more in gold. I'm putting it away because I'm hedging against the US dollar in an economic crash. Because when the manipulation ends, people lose, when, they, when, when the economy dumps and people lose faith in the economy and they lose faith in the US dollar, gold and silver are going to rise to the top and you're going to see uh, them go to the moon. And so why people aren't at least buying silver at $15.50 an ounce, why it has been beaten down and manipulated. Listen, be your own central bank. Do what the central banks are doing. They're hoarding gold. They're hoarding silver. JP Morgan, a prime example, uh, hoarding gold and silver. You need to be your own independent central bank and you need to be hedging your bets against this economy. It is not as good as they've been telling you. It was a update today on on the wall on Wall Street. Uh, Dow Jones was up, I think, about 265. What was interesting was the one in seven year bond rate inverted today. Very interesting. Um, it, it's just interesting how these markets can go up when we have consumer confidence down. When we have articles like this coming out, I believe this was on Zero Hedge, maybe. This. Um, U.S. debt soars nearly $1.4 trillion from last Christmas, rising $44,000 per second. Um, and while that's happening, okay, you got to pay your taxes. So, you know, uh, your debt's going up. People are living paycheck to paycheck. Um, people people are, are working two jobs. And you got to pay those taxes. And this was an interesting article. Again, another one. IRS had 4,487 guns and over 5 million rounds of ammunition stored away for 2018. So you know they'll only be accumulating even more guns and ammo for 2019. Uh, here's another one at Zero Hedge. Overflowing with excess inventory, U.S. companies turn to truck trailers. They're renting uh, truck trailers, semi-truck trailers, to store their inventory because the warehouses are so stockpiled with inventory, they have nowhere else to put it. So they're storing it out um, in their warehouse lots in tractor trailers. Um, we talked about this the other day. This is more than half of America now living paycheck to paycheck and uh this was a an interesting article just people you know husband and wife um you know families with two people working with a couple kids barely making it um you know again 42 44 percent of the country doesn't even have 400 dollars in cash saved up for an emergency so really think about it you're um you know, a, a cavity away, a flat tire away, um, just, you know, a trip to the urgent care away from being homeless. And it's going to hit Canada too. Canadian uh, economy, uh, Canadian real estate, um, hitting our neighbors up to the north. Canadian household debt to income, the ratio now is near record high. So... We're going to see more continued problems up in Canada. This was interesting right here. Another one on Zero Hedge. A lot of this is all on Zero Hedge. Riots loom as food stamp cash will run out by the end of January if government shutdown continues. And, you know, we are just an event or two events away from really 
seeing mass civil unrest, chaos, uh, civil war here in America. Just imagine if people didn't have access to their EBT or their welfare and they're not eating. That's 38 million people, okay? That's 38 million people right there that are dependent on the government um, giving, you know, paying for their food. And so imagine what we would see in the streets of America if 38 million people weren't getting their food stamps, EBT, uh, their WIC, uh, welfare, whatever it might be. Imagine what you're going to see in the streets of America. And I hope that that doesn't happen, but we are heading into very unpredictable times in America, very deep water, and um, who knows what could happen. But it wouldn't take more than a couple days before you started seeing severe violence in America if these people aren't getting their food stamps, welfare, EBT. I can promise you that. So again, put your food away, prepare, make sure you have security because we are going to see things coming to America that most people never thought could happen. So I'm going to close the video out, guys. Um, but in the last few minutes here, I just want to make a couple points. You know, the stock market closed pretty strong today. And a lot of that, I think, was based because there's some good news with uh, China and the and the U.S. Uh, trade sanctions that we're going to sit down and be talking with China and uh, see if that can be worked out. So that, that was a little bit of positive news. How much um, reality there is to that, um, don't really know. Uh, Might have just been put out there to help these markets close out strong for December. Markets across the board are down for 2018. It was a horrible, horrible year. And again, we had inverted yield curves between the one year and seven year today. Nobody's talking about that. All we hear is the economy strong, but yet consumer confidence is down. We got multiple retailers um, storing uh, goods and products and inventory in tractor trailers because there's nowhere to put it. Um, we have margin debt at an all-time high, we have household debt at an all-time high, we have corporate debt at an all-time high, we have government debt at an all-time high, yet stock market went up. But let's be real, Steve Mnuchin calling uh, the six biggest banks, President Donald Trump having to cool these markets down by telling people to come in, into these markets and buy on the dip. Um, so we're seeing, again, manipulation um, at some point they're not going to be able to manipulate these markets. Reality is going to come to these markets. People are, are, are going to get nervous. People are going to lose. Um, they're going to lose faith in, in the economy. They're going to lose faith in the U.S. dollar. And at that point, we're going to have a mad rush out of these markets, of a huge rush into the precious metals. Most people will not be able to get into them. There's not enough precious metals to go around. Right now, you need to be taking advantage while prices are still down as we're heading into 2019, which is going to be, I think, extremely volatile. I think it's going to be extremely chaotic. And so prepare now. And again, if you're a prepared individual, mentally, physically, spiritually, you don't need to fear 2019. You don't need to fear an economic depression, a collapse, um, a Great Depression, a recession, you're prepared for it. Prepare for it. Prepare your family for it. Don't be left without a life jacket. Listen, guys, have a great new year. God bless you guys. Thank you um, for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. Make sure you hit that bell notification so that you know when a new video comes out. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, share this video. Wake up your friends, your neighbors your church, everybody. Keep supporting this president, this country. We cannot give up. 2019, it's going to be a very, very interesting year. It's going to be a very chaotic, volatile year. Prepare right now. 2019 is a couple hours away. Nothing to fear if you stay close to God and you prepare. So make sure you say your prayers and make sure you're preparing food, water, gold, silver, guns, ammo, medical, everything you need. You need to be on it right now. We're heading into a period in America that is so unpredictable. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Be prepared. God bless you guys. Talk to you very soon. God bless America. And happy 2019.